This is Adi and you're listening to the Summer of Bitcoin Experience. In this episode, we talk to Dhruv Valyan from India. Dhruv participated in Summer of Bitcoin 2022, contributing to Bitcoin DevKit, an open source library to build cross-platform Bitcoin wallets. Dhruv worked on developing bindings for the BDK library to make it easier to use it in different languages or platforms. We discuss his journey into Bitcoin, working on BDK, and advice for aspiring open source Bitcoin developers. Let's hear it from Dhruv. Hope you enjoy it. Hey Dhruv, welcome to the Summer of Bitcoin Experience. Thanks, Adi. Thanks for having me here. All right. Tell us a bit about yourself. Okay, so hey everyone, I'm Dhruv Balian. I'm a final year uh, computer science undergraduate from India. Uh, I have different uh, experience in different tech stack like uh, Android backend and now uh, Bitcoin. Uh, I interned at Samura Bitcoin 2022. And so here I am uh, sharing my experience. Awesome. So Dhruv, uh, you'd love to know how you got into Bitcoin. Like when was the first time you heard about it? And what was your first impression? Hmm. So uh, I remember the uh, first time I heard about uh, the term Bitcoin. Uh, it was when I was in my high school. Uh, and I think it was something uh, related to investing and stuff. Uh, at that time, I had no idea uh, what Bitcoin was uh, other than it was some digital currency. So I just thought uh, it's just some investment asset for people to make money of. So I didn't pay much attention at first. I see. So mm -hmm. between then and now, uh, like what changed? You know, what convinced you to pay attention? Uh, so I joined college. Uh, I started uh, studying the computer science. And I usually watch uh, videos from a channel, a YouTube channel named uh, Three Blue One Brown. And one day I recommended, uh, I got recommended a video from the channel. And the title was, uh, but how does Bitcoin actually work? And as I was studying computer science, uh, that got me interested. So I watched the video and that helped me understand like how Bitcoin worked on some level. So that got me basically interested in Bitcoin. All right. And mm -hmm. then uh, you heard about some of Bitcoin, you applied to it. Tell us what was that like? Yeah, so uh, a student actually from my college uh, interned at Summer of Bitcoin a uh, year prior to me. So that's where I heard it from. Uh, from. So uh, I wanted to uh, start contributing open source and as I was interested in Bitcoin, so therefore I uh, thought about applying here and that's what I did. <laughs> okay, so before we jump into your Summer of Bitcoin experience, um, you know, you heard about it, how you heard about Bitcoin first time in your high school. Then, of course, you came across uh, that famous video, which um, I would recommend everyone uh, to watch. It's a really good explainer on the basics of how Bitcoin works by three blue, one brown. Mm -hmm. um, so and then, you know, you apply to Summer of Bitcoin. You obviously spent the summer last year in 2022 working on a project, which we'll, which we'll talk about in a moment. But Tell us why, you know, now that you know everything about Bitcoin, you have already contributed to parts of it. Why do you think Bitcoin is important? Like, why should we pay attention? Yeah, for me, uh, like the most uh, important thing about Bitcoin is that there are no restrictions. Uh, you can make payments anywhere across the globe uh, with minimal fee. You don't need to have trust on anyone as it is like decentralized. So like in some countries, government have uh, like set really low cash withdrawal limit, but that is not the case with Bitcoin. There is no uh, central authority who takes decisions for us. Uh, and the other thing is like a fiat currency uh, in Bitcoin, there is a limited supply and it is backed by energy while the fiat currency can be printed and it's not backed by anything and not handling that the right way can cause like inflation. And Bitcoin solves all that. And that's why the adoption is increasing. And it's a great money. Beautiful. That's a beautiful answer. Um, cool. So let's switch gears to Summer of Bitcoin. 
Um, tell us about the organization that you selected. You know, what does it do and why did you apply to that organization? Hmm. So uh, uh, before applying to Samara Bitcoin, I only knew about uh, the Android development. Uh, so that's why I initially wanted to contribute with a project named Padvan Wallet. That is an Android application. So I made a few contributions there. But the thing that interested me more uh, was the library that the Padwan wallet was using to communicate with the blockchain. And it was the BDK library. And that's why I decided to contribute to BDK instead and learn whatever was required to do so. Uh, BDK, that is short for Bitcoin Dev Kit. It is a lightweight uh, library that is written in Rust. And the project that I contributed to was the BDK FFI. What it does is basically it generates uh, bindings for the Rust code that is in the BTK library so that the same code can be used to create libraries in different languages for different platforms. Uh, and right now it supports uh, the language Kotlin, uh, Swift, and Python. So nice. that's what the project do here. Nice. Um, do you recall any challenges you know, during the project, during, you know, uh, helping with BDK FFI, uh, would you like to share some of that experience? Yeah, sure. Uh, it was my uh, first time uh, working on a project uh, with Rust and I had not never uh, worked with Rust before. And it took some time uh, for me to understand why the library is designed the way it is and what are the best practices while using Rust. Uh, there are some uh, limitations using Rust in this project as this project uses Unify RS. This tool is used to generate bindings. So we had to program in, in a way to get around those limitations. So uh, during the internship, the requirement for the API also changed a bit. Uh, we, uh, the original plan, the API I was supposed to build was uh, create child keys from parent key. So the, the plan changed a bit because the requirement was added that we had to add descriptor templates. These all terms won't make any sense right now to all the viewers. So we had to implement the API in a different way that checks the new requirements. So it was like uh, all these uh, problems that uh, come during the development. And we had like thought a way around it with the help of mentors. Let's take a quick break and hear about today's sponsor. Hey everyone, this is Adi. When I was starting in the Bitcoin industry a few years ago, there were hardly any resources to learn from. It was especially hard to find other like-minded Bitcoin developers and discuss about building apps on the Bitcoin blockchain. Well, things have changed, and I'm so excited to share with you about the Build on L2 initiative. Build on L2 is a community-led effort by contributors and companies building on Core Lightning and the Liquid Network. It's a space to connect with Bitcoin builders, product managers, designers, and developers through events and mentorship programs and learn from experts building the future of Bitcoin. It's exactly what I wish I had when I was starting out in Bitcoin. Go to buildonl2.com to join the community and learn how to build killer apps on Bitcoin. Back to the show. Great. Tell us more about the experience working with the mentors. Like who was your mentor and how did that go with him? Yeah, uh, I had two actual, uh, two mentors actually, mm -hmm. uh, Steve and Sudarshan. Like they were uh, really helpful during the intern. Uh, they have like great experience in Rust and have like great knowledge about the Bitcoin. Uh, they also helped me uh, understand some concepts about them. I had like Steve, I had set up a, Steve, a meeting with Steve where he making me uh, understood the how the SegWit work. I had problem understanding that. So we used to have a call on a weekly basis where we discussed the progress on the pull request and what are the challenges that uh, we were facing. Uh, and, you know, and even after the internship, I have been in uh, touch with those people. Yeah. Great. So... Um... Tell us more about that. Like, how are things going after the internship? Are you still working on any Bitcoin projects? Uh, so after the intern ended, uh, I made few contributions to the BDK FI, uh, but uh, I were, I want to now uh, contribute to the core logic of the library. So that's why I'm uh, revisiting some Bitcoin topics, uh, 
having a solid understanding. And the other thing that I'm doing in Bitcoin right now is I have started a blog series that is named Learn Bitcoin with Examples. I have not published it anyway yet. Uh, it's still on my GitHub. Uh, these blogs will help people understand uh, Bitcoin with some exercises. Like there are many resources to learn Bitcoin from, but this is the way I would have liked to understand Bitcoin when I started. So maybe these blogs can help people uh, who are like me, want to like play with the CLI and want to practice what they learn at the same time uh, using the exercises. Wow, that sounds that sounds really exciting. Uh, looking forward to that. Uh, hopefully, it comes out soon. Yeah, I'm uh, currently planning on writing a blog per week. It's going on track as of now. All right. Yeah. Awesome. So, on the same lines, um, maybe you want to share some advice on you know how to understand Bitcoin, how to go about it, especially if you are a beginner. Yeah, so uh, the channel, the Summer of Bitcoin YouTube channel, actually have a playlist uh, that uh, I, I'm not remembering the name of the author. Uh, he took the classes there and he you know, like make, understood the Bitcoin from the base up, like really thorough explanation. It was uh, really great. So people can start from there. Or if you are into uh, reading books, you can start from uh, Mastering Bitcoin. It is available on the GitHub. Uh, that covers all the basic topics uh, that you require to understand Bitcoin, basically. Yeah, and the author's name, uh, the lecturer's name on on our channel uh, is Kale Rosenbaum. He's the author of Groking Bitcoin. So yeah. he, in, in 2021, we had a lecture series where he came and he essentially gave uh, a series of video lectures on the basics of Bitcoin, which was based on, this, on the book that he authored, which is called Groking Bitcoin. Um, and Mastering Bitcoin is a great book as well. Uh, you know, all those links are, you, you, can, you can find them either by Googling or you can also check out our guide at summerofbitcoin.org. Um, you'll find the links to both those resources uh, on the site. Cool. Um, Dhruv, any specific advice on you know, just open source development? Since you know it's not just Bitcoin, but it's also open source uh, and you know there are, many good practices that one could learn as they're contributing to open source projects. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, pro uh, programming in public is uh, scary at first, like uh, the thought of uh, that uh, your code will be reviewed by a bunch of people online. You will get stuck at problems, that is for sure. So what you should do is before asking questions, you should do a little research of your own. You cannot depend on someone else to solve every problem that you have. Uh, try the best you can to solve something and then ask in a way that uh, explaining what the problem is and what all the things that you have tried to solve that. Uh, this way, people will know that you have actually tried and would be more willing to help you. And also, the try joining the meetings that the project maintainers have uh, to get in sync with what is going on with that open source project and try not to disturb someone for no reason, like little things that you can do on your own. And the other thing, after you like submit a pull request, uh, like adding a feature or solving an issue, you should be expecting some questions and suggestions on the code that you wrote uh, by the people who review them or the project maintainers. Uh, they will also suggest some changes according to the best practices, and they can also point out some potential bugs. Uh, this is how you learn, basically. Uh, do not overthink, just uh, try the best you can. Awesome. Um, and finally, Dhruv, uh, do you have any tips that you want to give out to aspiring applicants uh, of Summer of Bitcoin, and maybe some advice on how to succeed if they are selected for the internship? Yeah, according to me, uh, you should first uh, shortlist the organizations that you are interested in. Uh, these are available on the Summer of Bitcoin site. Uh, and do not be afraid of the tech stack uh, that is used to build those projects. Uh, you just focus on the organization that you are that you find interesting and then study the code base. Try setting it uh, in your local machine. If you are having trouble setting up the project, just ask in Discord. Uh, if you find some bug, create an issue on the GitHub, start solving issues on that repository, help reviewing the PRs, get in touch with potential mentors. These all things can improve the chances of you getting selected as an intern. 
and the next part that comes is the proposal writing. Uh, select the idea that is released by the organization that you find interesting and study about all the topics that are required to build that feature. So now that you already know about the, how the project works and how the code is structured, you can just write a proposal on how you will be implementing that feature. Also, you can get your proposal reviewed by mentors even before the proposal submission deadline. So that's why you should get in touch with them early on. And they will provide you with some feedback on how you can improve your proposal and do all that. And I think uh, you would be you would have a high chance of getting selected. Great, awesome. Um, Dhruv, thank you so much for sharing about your experience and also giving advice to aspiring applicants with Bitcoin and open source. It was great to have you. Thanks, Adi. Thank you for listening to the Summer of Bitcoin Experience. I would love to get your thoughts on what else would you like to hear from these student developers and how to make this the most valuable podcast for getting started with Bitcoin open source development. Write to us at hello at summerofbitcoin.org. Can you do us a small favor? Go online and share this episode with at least one friend who you think would benefit from this episode. Until next time.